I've got a couple of the latest Barbie water play dolls. Let's rebody and redress them coming up after this. When I saw there was an announcement for new water play budget Barbies, they usually cost about $5.00. They do in Canada. I'm not sure what the price is in the States. I think our Walmarts have them for the same price as the American Walmarts do, and that is $5. They have really cool, unique faces, and they're using really unique head sculpts. This is the last... I don't know when these came out. I don't know how I can remember, but it's been... It could be four or five years since we got the last batch of these. It might just be two or three. It's definitely more than two because I always wait in anticipation to get them, to get the $5 dollars you need and dress them up. This was the, oh wait, I always mistake um, the summer for Barbie because they do look alike. I put their hair in pony details. I really do love my molded on top heads, which have taken precedence to what I prefer to use, but these girls, I have tamed their hair by putting them in low ponytails. This was the last water play series, and I rebodied them, and I've used them a lot for fashion packs, and makeovers, and DIYs. But it's time to get some new ones. Will I put their hair in ponytails to get it out of the way? I found two bodies. She is on the lightest skin tone we get, which is a purple top made to move. I don't know what she translates to in recent years. This is Alana for me on my WWE bodies. And then I'm not sure what this skin tone is. I'm not sure if it's a perfect match for the Naomi doll from WWE. That's what I use. So you could look at some of my other videos and see what other dolls I have rebodied on a Naomi body if you want to know what the made to move um, equivalent is. This is the darkest complected one from the WWE wave. I also have my color reveal, what was this series? Sunshine and Sprinkles. The raincoats I want to put on a regular doll and I want to try those out so we're trying on their outfits. We're going to stick with the colors that they're using. Purple and blue, complementary colors. Um, purple and blue. That's orange. Orange and blue are complementary colors, and I'm excited to pull these out. This one, I carefully chose her because I liked how her eye placement was more than any of the other ones that I saw, at least from the first store. When I bring her home, she looks wonky to me. Now she doesn't look wonky to me. I think it's all in how the lights and the shade are on her face. Anyway, despite if she's wonky or not, Many of us are wonky, and I don't know, I liked her, so why not open her, and if I can't really tell, what difference does it make now, does it? Such a unique, pretty face, look at those eyes, like, so unusual, and then I love um, tie-dye that is so popular nowadays, arms go out, I wasn't sure that they would, they're not rubbery, maybe they are. I don't know, I'm confused. Anyway, this is the basic budget doll, which I always try to encourage people to be excited about. She has the same articulation. In fact, she has more articulation than the original Barbie does. So, I don't know. Any kid should be able to have lots of fun with these dolls. They can dress them up in the fashion packs if you want to get your child one of these dolls and a fashion pack. They can have lots of fun, even though the fashion packs cost more than the doll itself, which was the case for the original Barbie, too. Great hair. Always soft hair. You wouldn't think that they would have great quality hair. And I like these heads because they're so realistic. The hair is a realistic length, and that's not a strange color, usually with, well, always with the water play ones. It's just an average girl living her average life trying just you know laying by the pool now she needs sunscreen i personally don't believe in sunscreen but you do you just make sure you do get some sunshine just not too much don't burn yourself and you should be safe um the face is great look at those eyebrows 
She's so cool. I like tie dye. This is a little bit crazy. That is a theme with these bathing suits. It's not, I don't, I don't, I don't understand what the influence is. I do know that kids love patterns and colors. I love colors. I don't necessarily love patterns. I like pops of color. But look at this. Look at this rock and roll bikini done in colors <laughs> that you wouldn't think that it would be done in. There's somebody rocking over at Mattel and they think that they can put on some uh, tribal tattoo flames on the back of some flowers like that's very now this should normally this would be placed on a black uh, leather is where you would see or a black t-shirt you would see a design like that but no they put it on a blue pastel <laughs> bathing suit and it kind of works it's not, uh, it's a lot, there's a lot going on in that pattern. I mean, see, look, there's a lot going on in this pattern, but there's just something geometric about it. This, wow, wow. See the stitching there? That I don't like. Of course, I know we all would prefer if we had these dolls with bathing suits that were removable. That is totally the best scenario. But I guess this is a safe, nobody's worried about Barbie ever becoming naked, which is a good thing for some people who have hangups about that. I'm seeing right now if I can cover up the whole body with this t-shirt. This is my favorite t-shirt from Creatable World. And it actually looks, yeah, it actually covers up everything on the body. Why don't I just go ahead and put this outfit on? This is the outfit I'm putting on. I'm keeping their colors. I, I trust Mattel chose the perfect color for their, their skin color. Look how her bangs always go in her face. I haven't shown you her face that close. She is also a very real looking unique character. So happy to have her. These eyes are buggy on these on this mold so sometimes it's hard to stamp and I couldn't tell if I got a good one because of that and because of the hair but actually the face looks pretty good yeah I like her she looks like uh, somebody we could know and her hair is a normal length there is a kink in it from the packaging but we can fix that but I probably it's really soft I will probably pin this hair back though I am not into hair play. It's, it just gets in the way and static is something that I don't like. Look at that, that's cute. We can even try on the boots that came with these sunshine and sprinkles. Look at that, look, she's got the whole outfit on. I mean, I added the extra t-shirt. Let's put on uh, the raincoat. However, I'm supposed to be saving this outfit for the, I don't know what I do with the raincoat. I had it standing by. I had it in my hand at the beginning of this video. Did I drop it underneath the other beach dolls? Did I drop it on the floor? It is on the floor. Now that I started this, we might as well see what it looks like on And I am convinced that I can make these raincoats look expensive. I do wish I had some turtlenecks. This is the set where the jacket flares out and the skirt flares out. This right now doesn't look so expensive to me, but it still is a cute monochromatic outfit. She's splashing around in the rain. Let's see what she looks like when her body is filled out though and uh, that's what i like to do and that's why i like the wwe bodies because they are a little bit curvier and they fill out the clothes better and i like the amount of articulation they have which is another key point okay so is her head her head these heads are still on the same kind of mechanism so we have to be careful even though I'm not going to be using these water play bodies for anything. But still, more articulation than the original Barbie head. So definitely enough play value. Walking around. 
quintessential Barbie arms. When people make fun of Barbie, they always go like this. So that's what she looks like. Okay, and how the skin is? Oh, I think it's a bit dark. I might have to find another skin tone. Yeah, that that is way too dark. I that's way too dark for a match. I do have other shades, so I'll have to go get that. It's warmer, summertime, so the heads come off without having to heat them up, but I do recommend always heating up. Let's see this girl. <clears throat> With her new body, is a very good skin tone. She looks super muscular. Maybe this head was a smaller head. I think these are, are these classic heads? Because the smaller the head, the more muscular the body looks, but the arms have a direction that you can put them in where they don't look as muscular. Yeah, I like her on this body. Let's put her into her orange outfit. This is my favorite skirt from the Sparkle, no, Sprinkle Sunshine and Sprinkles collection. I think it looks so Chanel with the black piping. I love the hems. They're so well made. I love the fabrication. It's thinner material, which scales down to Barbie clothes very, very well. That's a fantastic skirt. Let's put it on with a simple white t-shirt because let's face it, that's what people wear in real life. Okay, that is a really, really cute outfit. And I don't know. I don't know if I can make the jackets work that's worth another try I think I need to get white turtlenecks I think those are or a white turtleneck that's what's gonna work I'm gonna have to look through my stuff and see if I have a white turtleneck but if anything is gonna look good with this jacket going to be this outfit because I think that the skirt is super expensive looking despite what others may feel and yeah and you should wear if you're wearing a raincoat like this you should wear something simple with it and I think all white mostly because of the pockets but you could also wear peach to complement it, but I think it would look super chic with a turtleneck, which I have to find. But I'm gonna take off this raincoat, even though it doesn't look too bad. And then I found a new body. I believe this is the Sasha Banks body. So, she is also on uh, the Sasha Banks body. And this is uh, the Carmella one, which is more of a caramel color, but I do think that it fits uh, the Sasha body better, but either could work. No, 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 Sasha's the one. And I don't, I'm not sure if there was any other doll that came on this color, but I don't think so. But yeah, that is a much better match. It looks better in real life than it does. That's why I thought this one was gonna work because the shiny bodies look better without the lights on them to uh, the, like a darker body with a shiny, is shiny. The darker body is shinier than the head, so it looks lighter when it's on. But in this case, this head looks better, so this body is looking lighter in the lights. But you can see when I don't have the light reflected that it is a pretty good match. Yeah, it's good. She looks good. The more I look at her face, the more glamorous she looks. She kind of looks like, you know, Tina Turner or Taylor Dane. Some kind of crazy rock chick. Oh, I forgot to show you the whole outfit. Her with her Carmen Sandiego hat on as well. 
she could be Carmen San Diego. I guess this isn't too much of a retro head because this hat isn't fitting on so well, but yeah. Again, she looks great with that outfit on. Lost the hat. Where'd the hat go? Over here. Oh, dropping everything. This hat's pretty cool too because you can wear it in so many different ways. The brim over the eye. I hid it in a way that I liked it. No, it seems to be falling uh, better like that. Okay, let's put this uh, girl back into her blue skirt. I do want to see how that blue skirt looks. I didn't really pay attention the first time when I put it on. Is it too flary? Because it's much flarier than the other skirts in the series. It means that it rides up more because it's not tight to hold it down, so it is going to look shorter, but I uh, like it, you know? What do they call that? An A-line? It's shaped like an A. To try on the white tank tops, because those are my favorite. I bought a Creatable World doll just to get this top the other day. Actually, I haven't opened that one yet. I don't know where all of the white tops are. I think it's supposed to be 50-50 who gets a white top and who gets a black top, but I guess I have some dolls hidden somewhere wearing these white tops. But I guess I'm not too fun with fashion. I like simple basics, and I think that, yeah, that she looks great in this little skirt. I love these color reveal skirts. So that's what they look like. Let's put this hat on her. This hat came with it. How's that looking? Sometimes it looks funny that when you can see through the translucent. Still, I'm gonna give that hat to my Ken dolls. And baseball caps aren't, I don't know, they're not always so cute. I like my dolls to be a little more glamorous. I like her a lot. Let's put the blue raincoat on her, see if it can look better on a more curvy doll. Here we go. Her hair is going crazy like a rock star, and which is why I like to tie it back. It's getting too messed up. It's getting too staticky, especially with a rubber coat. Oh, and now it's caught in her. Oh, oh it's caught. I don't think I have a turtleneck. How would you get a turtleneck on one of these dolls anyway? Maybe I'll have to make my own white turtleneck. I mean, a black turtleneck could be chic too. Cute. The clothes are gonna look more expensive on a more expensive doll though, so. And that's what I wanna do. I wanna mix this jacket with more expensive fashions so that it too looks expensive. But they do kind of look like they're just wearing smocks and that they're hairdressers, or they're getting their hair cut, or lab club coats. The skirts are great. These new dolls have really unique faces. I definitely recommend them. I can't wait to get my hands on the other four. We had five in the last series. We only have four this time and two boys. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Did you check out my color reveal video where I opened up all of these and gave the codes? And I gotta go look for a white turtleneck now. And then I'm gonna have to make it myself if I don't have one or five. Do you like my dolls? Do you like their skirts?